Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the TXD G1. Now this was kindly sent to me from Gearbest to do a review on. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below if you want to buy this drone. So, let's see what you get. So, in the box you get the drone, the controller, phone holder, charging cable and some prop guards. So, let me just get rid of all that. So, as you can see, this looks remarkably like the E61 that I had that I did a giveaway on recently. However, this one does have a cam uh, camera and this one also has altitude hold. So, as you can see, the drone is tiny. It's the aerial for your FPV, if you want to fly FPV. So, this is the drone. It's got a little bit of weight about it. It has a battery that is removable rather than some of these where you charge it. It is difficult to get out, though. So, that's your battery. I think it's 450 milli. I'll have it in the description below anyway. So 1S battery obviously, and it comes and you charge it through that little jackpot there. It's a little, I think it's a three mil connector there. Good in the back, and as you can see, it clips in. And it's a good fit actually, because I struggled to just get it out, as you can probably, as you probably just saw. So it's a nice fit, nice and tight as it goes into the drone. It's not going to come out anytime soon. This is your controller. The controller is quite standard fare, slightly bigger than the one for the E10 and stuff like that. Power on button there, video and camera button here, headless mode and return to land. So it'll come back roughly in the direction it took off from and these are your trim buttons on this side. On this side you have a rates button, the three rates on this side you have a 3D flip button. I've recorded some video with it and I have flown this outdoors. There was four or five mile an hour wind and it flew nicely out. It gets blown a little bit in the wind but it's very controllable in the wind because of the altitude hold. The altitude hold works really, really well and it's a really nice flight. Indoors it flies fine. The reason I filmed it outside is because most people fly these things indoors but I just wanted to show that you can fly outdoors and I had prop guards on it and it was no problem at all. Flight time's around, I got for four and a half minutes but it was, there was a bit of wind and I had prop guards on which obviously eats your battery time. On the back of here, you normally have this clips in here, and then your mobile phone goes into here. Now, like I say, it is a camera drone, so let's just turn it on. Not sure how much light in the battery actually, but we'll see. It's connected up to its Wi Fi point. So you need to, it is called My Toy HD, believe it or not. So we connected it to that and the app it runs on is HX UFO. So you need the HX UFO app. And if it play, it's pretty much your standard type of app. So you've got some controls at the top, camera, video, reverse your camera so you can have it upside down if you want. So everything goes upside and down. Why you do that I don't know. Your rates button, flight of the gyro, flight of the, on your phone. So it does fly straight from the phone if you don't want to use your controller. I hate that, but you can do that. So let's turn that off. So. There is one major issue with this drone. So if, let me just start by saying this thing flies tremendously well. It's a great little drone to fly. The, the issue is look at the angle the camera is facing downhill. You're going to see me fly it outside at about six foot and all I can see virtually is the floor. I wasn't flying it any higher because A, it was windy and B, it's an indoor drone. Now, unless you've got 10, 12 foot high ceilings, this thing is going to show you the floor most of the time because that angle is really, really bad. You can't adjust it, unfortunately. So you have to be at a height of about 10 to 12 feet to get this thing to... Well, if you look at this, so if I was flying there, but you can see when I get higher, I don't know if you can see on my phone, if I get higher, if you look, it's difficult. So if I'm flying straight like that, look, how, look at the angle I'm at. 
you need to get it to be nosed down. So you need to really get the, the, the front end up on the drone, which you can't do because it's, it's just too low. That should be straightforward. And to be fair, you'll see on the video footage, the video footage doesn't actually look that bad. And if, if you've got high ceilings in your house, this would be great. But you do need high ceilings because of this angle. The angle's just too steep. But the drone itself flies really, really well. So I'll leave you with some footage I've got. I'll leave you with some footage I've got of it flying outside so you can see how well it flies. I'll also cut some footage in, film for the camera, not much because there's a lot of grass you'll see, but there is some shots that you can see so you can probably see the clarity yourself. I just wish the camera had a better angle. But to be fair, if you buy this type of drone, are you really buying it for the camera drone? Or are you just buying it to have a bit of fun with indoors? Like I say, I've left the description down below for the drone. You make your own mind up and see what you think with the video footage that's coming up. Thanks ever so much for watching and have a fantastic day.